Welcome back to my channel, SciTech Karo. In this video, I will talk about the display specification details about the Realme GTO Neo 2 device. Yes, friends, finally the GT Neo 2 has got the reveal the display specifications, and those are really very very interesting to know. Yes, absolutely, friends. But previously, we got to know few things about the phone. For example, the processors. The processor of this uh, Realme uh, GT Neo 2 will be having Snapdragon 870 chipset, and phone is going going to get launched on the 22nd of uh, September, which we do know. But today the Realme did announce few of the details regarding the display. So let's take a look at the display specifications. So first thing, this is the image which the Realme did reveal. If you look at the image, you can clearly see it says E4 or Samsung panel, which has got the 13 and then it's of uh, peak brightness. Yes, that is the uh, brightness levels of this Realme GT Neo 2 will be having 1300 nits. That's a E4 type of panel technology they're trying to use. So which is not for the first time. I think even the Mi 11X also has got the E4 type of uh, Super AMOLED displays. And but the brightness is about 1300 nits of brightness. Apart from that, we got to know about the specifications like the refresh rate. So 120 hertz refresh rate will be normal. And we will be having the 600 hertz touch sampling rate. Yes, friends, 600 hertz. So right now, I do have with, uh, with me Moto H20 which can go up to 576 Hertz but right now the Realme GT Neo 2 brought up to 600 Hertz touch sampling rate and this refresh rate is a variable refresh rate so 30 Hertz 60 Hertz 90 Hertz and 120 Hertz depending upon the type of activity you're doing in this way the refresh rate will be changed that is what it meant by the image as you can see here so and final image is something to do with the DC dimming something that is what it did mention here so when I did the translation from Chinese to English language, you can see 10,000 levels of dimming plus DC dimming, something related to the DC dimming features. So which got implemented in this phone, that is what are going to be interesting. So these are the few things which are key highlight points for the phone. So first is that we got to know what type of panel, so E4 panel it's using. And second is a refresh rate, which is a 120Hz refresh rate and 600Hz touch sampling rate also. This another uh, step up from the previous, which we did see about 360Hz, that's good. So it's a huge bump in terms of the touch sampling rate. And third is we're seeing this different kind of DC dimming is going on in this device, in the Realme GT Neo 2 device. So let me know in the comment section below friends, what are your thoughts on this one? But for me, it looks really impressive at this moment because I first thing I did like the change in terms of the screen size. Yes, not all the users will be liking the small screen. Even few users like me who are interested in the big screen. This is what I'll definitely prefer. But these are the quick result friends on the display specifications of this Realme GT Neo 2. And for more details, make sure it's, it's a subscribe and stay tuned for more details as well. Definitely, once I get to know all the leaks and rumors about this one, I'll definitely post another video as well. And meanwhile, we go to know about the battery as well, which can be close to 5000 mAh of battery capacity. That's it. So see you in the next video friends, earlier state of more updates. In case if you have any other queries, let me know in the comment section below. Meanwhile, signing off and the price is only one thing which is kind of falling now. Let's see. I'm really expecting the Realme to be launched around close to 31,000, somewhere around that. At least if it is getting launched for 31,000, they should give the bank offer, so which makes a really good deal. So let's see what's going to happen. So I'm going to be back friends in the next upcoming video. See you in the next video. Until then, bye.